Hello, my name is Charlie Titchener. I represent the International Function Point Users Group and welcome to video 3A of our series on the introduction to the software non-functional assessment process. We want to give an example of why SNAP is important. And really, we're going to give three examples. Uh, and I'll show you why as we go into videos 3A and 3B. So we'll give two simple examples in video 3A and 3B and in, in video 3A. And in video 3B, we'll go into an algorithm and show you how much more difficult it is to program and why it requires much more work effort to, uh, to develop and to test and why it should cost a lot more, even though it counts for the same number of function points. So with that, I will begin. And again, this is an adaptation uh, from the International Function Point Users Group, International Software Metrics and Analysis Conference 19, uh, which was presented in uh, June of, 1920, of 2022. Now, here are three examples of small reports, which in function points we call external outputs. These are reports that have calculations on them, and they have one DET in them. Now, a DET, a data element type, right here and right here and right here, can be uh, a piece of data. It can be a piece of control information. It can be a data operator like uh, greater than or equal to, uh, equals, or something like that. So let's uh, discuss each of these individually. Now, from a function point count, we're going to make a couple of assumptions here. First of all, let's assume that each one of these three reports is exactly what the user wants. And since each one of these have only one field in them, the gray field, uh, we are going to measure each of these as four function points in size. That'll be our starting point. Now, I don't know what your cost per function point is. Just as a notional number, let's say on average an organization pays $500 per function point. So each of these should cost, well, the average cost of these three would be about uh, $2,000, four function points times 500. So the average cost of these would be about $2,000. Let's see if that's really realistic. According to IFPUG, there are three degrees of mathematical calculations of extensiveness of these mathematical calculations. The hint for the least extensive is a calculation that requires only a four function calculator. A medium extensive hint is a calculation that requires more than a four function calculator, but less than an algorithm. And the most extensive are algorithms. Now, here are four, here are going to be three simple reports, each with one field as an example. So here's the first example of those three reports. An individual has a small business and wants the report showing the annual sales below are the supporting data. Now this individual already has this information, this information here, this information, and this information, and wants a software application to be written to total them all up. This is very simple. This could be solved on a four function calculator. It's worth four function points. And the DET here, or the answer, this one field is $45,000. I imagine that a programmer from requirements to uh, gathering to uh, programming to testing to implementation, this would be a pretty simple uh, and pretty quick uh, report to do. This is an example of the lowest level of mathematical complexity. Now let's go up to the next higher level of mathematical complexity. An individual wants to know the height of a certain cactus plant. One method is to climb to the top of the plant and drop a string until it reaches the bottom and later measure the length of the string. But that requires climbing the top of the plant. And in some cases, climbing up the plant and then climbing back down may not be a very pleasant thing to do. An alternative is to wait until the sun 
gets up in the air high enough to cast a 45 degree angle of the shadow of the cactus plant to the ground. Then I can take a carpenter's triangle here, put it right here, and measure the distance from the corner to here, and that's 20 feet. And then if you took calculus in high, I'm sorry, if you took trigonometry in high school or you still remember your trig, you'll recognize that this is a trig problem. And the tangent of 45 degrees is one. So that means that this distance from here to here is the same distance from there to there. So the height of this is in 20 feet. Now on an internet site that I went to, first of all, you can't use a four function calculator for this. You need a scientific calculator. But on one internet site that I visited, uh, the logic and the directions on how to calculate this longhand required about a half of a screen. So this is more complex than the first example. Now, this calculation is recognized under the optional general system characteristic number nine in the International Function Point Users Group Counting Practices Manual. Now you could use the modified value adjustment factor and multiply these four function points by a factor of 1.025 and get 4.1 modified adjustment function points. And this extra 1.025 factor would help justify the extra cost and work schedule to develop the pro to develop this software. Now the 4.1 calculation process is not an ISO standard, but it is an optional practice approved by IFPUG. The third level of complexity is an algorithm. SNAP defines an algorithm as an extensive mathematical operation which uses one or more algorithms. It is a set of mathematical equations and calculations used in conjunction with or according to logical operators to produce users identify you produce results identifiable to the user. In other words, it's a set of mathematical calculations but you gotta execute them in a certain logical order. And that will be the end of uh, video 3A, and we will go to video 3B to discuss how to size an algorithm using SNAP. So please proceed to video 3B.